This next exercise is all about opening your chest, opening up through the pecs and even engaging some of the posterior muscles on the shoulder. Get yourself a yoga block and a floor to lay on. We're going to start off by laying on the left side. I'm going to give you some tips here for this one. Hips are going to be at 90 degrees. Any less than it's going to allow some mobility in, in through the uh, lumbosacral joint. When you bring the hips up to 90 degrees, it locks down on that thoracolumbar fascia, stabilizing the lumbar spine. So with the yoga block, we're going to be putting it in between the thighs, flexing the ankles. She's going to be bringing her palms together. Spine is nice and neutral. Now to start off, she's just going to take her hands and open up this top one. Now she's going to push through the five fingers of the bottom hand to help turn on the posterior chain on that left side, pushing down through all five fingers of that top hand and slowly windmill the hands with that right hand up and over. This will help open up through the chest. There is going to be some rotation in the thoracic spine, but most of it should be coming from the openness in here. I'll go ahead and stop right there. Now the reason why we have the block here is we're going to help to turn on the inner thighs which helps turn on the lower core. So she's going to squeeze the block and she's also going to push through all five fingers there to help turn on the posterior chain and keep that going around. Taking the hand as close as you can to the pelvis and bringing it back around. Now for some people in this position, the hand might come up this high. So here, she's going to take a deep breath, exhale, reaching out through there, pushing through the fingertips there, squeezing the block here, and see if she can get her hand back down. So for some people, this might be a very tough range. Now for some people who are very open, they can keep all five fingers down, but their wrist might be up off the ground like that. So then what their goal is going to be is try to keep the wrist down. And they're going to rotate, go all the way back to the beginning. And let's see it all the way through one cycle. Squeezing the block, pushing through all 10 fingers, especially the pinky finger. and make sure that the ribs don't pop out. Sometimes we create a little bit more extension by popping the ribs out. So if we can keep the ribs down, it might allow more stretch through the chest. It's a great way to start off a yoga practice, great way to end a yoga practice, or even just starting or ending your day. And you could do this five to 10 times on each side easily.